Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video, and this one's going to be about an impossible task. That's right, it's that one we get from Osiris uh, to trying to do the Saint 14 mission questline. Now we have to go to Mercury, Nessus, and Io to get Vex Transformers. So we're going to go first of all to uh, Mercury to find the first one. Now from the landing zone, you need to make your way around the outside edge of Brother Pants' tower until uh, you get round to the back side of it. Uh, it's not too far, but it's not down below. You actually have to look up to see the Vex Transformer. Now these cube kind of shaped things, they look like Vex tech. There you go, there it is. That's your first one. So just pop that one off and then we'll go and look for the next one. Now the next one is uh, in one of the public event towers. I was looking at the map here, you can see it there on the right. But when you work your way back round to the front, it's the one on your left as you're looking out at the uh, field of play. There we go, you can just see it out of the corner of your eye there on the left. Now then, uh, a sniper I thought would reach, but it doesn't. Although you might have better luck than me if you walk right the way over to that platform in the front there and shoot it from there. I didn't think of that at this time, but there was a public event going on, so I managed to get shot over over to the tower and once there I could of course shoot the Vex Transformer which was nice and easy but I bet you you should be able to reach it with a sniper from the central platform. Okay off to the next one this time we're going to be looking at this one here just in the center it looks like it's in the public uh, event arena but it's not it's actually directly underneath it so if you just jump this way jump through the uh, circular aperture here and land in the Radalor what's it called Radalorian lakes yes that's right burn your backside off like I just did then and then walk around here and it's behind this wall here tucked away it's a swine and it's hiding look but there we go we shot the swine Okay, let's go and look for the next one, which is now on the far side of the map. Now, it's actually over by the Infinite Forest, and if you pop up and look at the top of the pyramid, you can just see it there. So the big glowing Infinite Forest entrance is where it's at. And the final one on Mercury is tucked away over here on this side of the map. It's quite difficult to find if uh, you don't know where it is, if you see what I mean. Yeah, so make your way over to the uh, left-hand side of the map as you're looking at it. Uh, keep on going through uh, the various swines who are trying to blow your face off. And you want to go right to the very edge here, and you can just see a little lip. Jump down onto that, and there it is, tucked away in the corner. What a complete git. Okay, and that's everything done on Mercury. So, let's awa to Nessus. Now, because Nessus is much bigger than Mercury, there's quite a little bit of uh, traveling to be done here. So, first of all, I would uh, go to the Exodus Black landing zone. Uh, and the first one we're going to get is here, just round the side in the Sanctum of Bones. Now, it's not too far from the landing zone. You just want to make your way around right. Go down here, and you're going to be going down into a cave underneath uh, where you, well, kind of where the landing zone was, I suppose, really. Uh, so make your way down here, shoot swines in the face. Oh, and don't forget, if you're finding this very useful, or even a little bit useful, give me a subscribe. Go on, that would be really appreciated, because the channel's growing a little bit now, and I'm getting more and more excited every day, because I just want to do this forever and ever. Well, at least until I die, anyway. Sorry, uh, let's keep on going down, and here we are in the Sanctum of Bones. Now, you don't want to go any further than here, you just actually want to look up. And there it is, hidden in the weeds at the top, the git. So uh, just shoot that one in the face, or in its cuboid arse, and then uh, we'll go and find the next one. The next one you can find in the south end of the map here, in the Glade of Echoes. So you just land in the Exodus Black landing zone, and you want to make your way through the tunnel at the end of the map here, and then you come out into the big area where you start going down to do uh, one of the strikes, you know, with the massive crashed Exodus Black, the arse end of the ship there. So make your way down here, follow the road around until you see this little shack with metal panels on it, and there it is, tucked inside, in there, hiding away like a cuboid git. Okay, for this next one, we're going to the Tangle, and there it is, that's where we're going to. Now, so you want to go to the Artifact's Edge landing zone, and make your way around. So, I'll just use my Kronos God powers here to uh, accelerate time. Here we go, finding our way around to the Tangle, and once you come around to this tree, you can see the cuboid sneak hiding in amongst these red weeds here. So push your way through the leaves and shoot it in its cuboid grid. 
Now this next one is a complete arse to find, it took me ages, except it's incredibly easy to find, but it's very, very sneaky. As soon as you arrive at the Artifact Edge teleport, turn around and shoot it in the face because it's hiding in a field of poppies behind you all the time. Even though I went walking around for hours and hours and hours looking in every nook and cranny to find the complete swine and I couldn't. Anyway, let's go on to the next one, and this time we're off to the hollows. So uh, you jump down from Artifact's Edge spawn point again, and you want to make your way through this section here, and you're going to go to the big hole in the ground, you know, it's like a vertical tunnel. Well, which is exactly what a hole is, <laughs> if you think about it. Anyway, yes, so we're just about getting there. If you want to jump down the hole, here we go. Bend your knees and breathe to absorb, absorb the imp, absorb, absorb the impact. Then continue walking your way around, pick up any goodies on the way, and then you're going to come into the central section here. Keep on going around the section, and then look up to your left, and it's hidden away in a little hidey hole again. There you go. There it is, the fifth and last one on Nessus. Thank buggery for that. Okay, let's go to Io. So our first stop is Lost Oasis, and we're going to look for this one here. Now, I made a bit of a balls up capturing this particular bit of footage uh, because I didn't get a very good shot of the Vex Transformer, but if you come to the top of the hill and this tree here, which is right next to where the Cabal uh, public event is, you can see it just nestled in there. So walk up to the edge and shoot it, and you're done for that one anyway. Okay, and for the next one, we're going to go to Terra Base Sharon, which is at the top of the map here, you can see. So again, best starting point is Lost Oasis, and make your way to the top of the map, and then you'll thread your way through here, and it's pretty much get straight on top of you when you get to the Terra Base Sharon bits and bobs. You see the lights starting to change the interesting cabal glowing red. You come around this corner here, and then you can see it just in front of you there. There's another cube swine ready for you to shoot. Take this, cuboid swine! Okay, so we're off to Excavation Site 2. You can see that one here. Uh, you need to go to the Giant Scar landing zone, and then make your way through the ship and uh, curl up to the right. I found this one a little bit tricky to find. It's tucked away like a... well, like, like all the others are, really. And it just drives you mad, because you wander around looking for a floating cube and you just can't find it. Well, anyway, keep on going down through the tunnel here. Oh, hello, I've got a partner in crime. Uh, keep on coming down to excavation site 2. You're going to see a few taken. It's probably best to uh, kill them or they'll be constantly annoying you like taken gnats. Anyway, once you've sorted them out, you want to go through the red tunnel that's straight in front of you. Uh, go up this way. There's usually taken here, so sort them out. But you want to turn right and then this door is left ajar and go inside it and there it is. Hiding like Borg's cousin. Not the tennis player. I mean, you know, the Borg. Okay, the next one is in a lost sector in the rupture called the Sanctum of Bones. So you just see the lost sector symbol there. It's just across from the landing zone itself, and you want to make your way into the cave. Now, uh, you could go right the way to the top through the lost sector to get it, but I wouldn't advise it. It takes forever. You can actually easily access it from the chamber below. So let's just get there so I can show you exactly what I mean. There we go, here we are, Sanctum of Bones. Now once you get in here, you want to just kill the Taken who are here, otherwise there's going to be a big pain in the ass. Uh, once they're dead, you want to look up to your left, and there in that little crevice is where you need to go. And what you can do is jump up on this rock that looks like a large willy. Now go on that one, and uh, jump into the uh, entranceway here, and there we go, there is our lovely little cuboid companion who we're going to, well, we're going to kill. So, you know, go up and shoot him in the face. Square face. Okay, Guardians, this is the last one, and we're heading back to the Rupture, and we're going to make our way to the Pyramidian. So as you come down the hill, you can see the large Pyramidian rooming on the right-hand side. Get off your bike, and then you want to make your way up these steps here, go into the darkness, and you'll see a little entryway open up. Turn around, look up, and there it is, the last one! Hooray! What a large pain in the bum they were. 
Now, I thought I'd give you a couple of quick tips for this last one. It's called Big Vex Hunting, and you've got to get 25 Vex cores and uh, 50 Raidalorian cuboid thingy majiggies. Now, Vex cores are gotten by shooting uh, more powerful Vex enemies. That's ones with multiple uh, enemy en enemy bars, <laughs> energy bars, and things like that. And then the Raidalorian things, you get them from getting precision kills on uh, Vex. So, what I would recommend that you do is you I did do a run of the Pyramidian, but I found that quite slow. So I thought the best thing to do would be to go to Mercury, because there's always a good few Vex on Mercury, and then there's a lost sector there uh, on the right-hand side of the map called Pariah's Refuge. Go in there, and there's loads of Vex, and you can just keep on cycling through it until you get the job done. And all you have to do then, all you have to do then, is return to Osiris, and uh, he'll give you your next mission which is Corridors of Time. And I'm not going to show you anything of the actual mission itself, but it is fantastic fun. And it must be the first part, I'm sure there's going to be four parts to it, uh, of the Saint-14 mission. Just one piece of advice, tool up with all your best kit, because it's quite tricky. Right, I'm off now to go and steal Osiris's little dice to stop him messing around with the bloody timeline. Time sausages. Gaming channel.